Welcome to Test Max Tuition. Today we will discuss a new topic hyperbolic functions. Hyperbolic functions. What do you mean by hyperbolic function? <coughs> See, <coughs> e raised to x, we can express e raised to x as sum of even and whole functions. That is e raised to x equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2 plus e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2. e raised to x which can be expressed as sum of even and odd functions. e raised to x which can be expressed as the sum of even and odd functions. That is e raised to x equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2 plus e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2. This e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2 is known as a hyperbolic even function e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2 is known as an odd function. But that is e raised to x which can be expressed as a sum of even and odd function. This is an even function and this is an odd function. Even function is called a hyperbolic cosine function and odd function is known as a hyperbolic sine functions. Even function is called a hyperbolic cosine function and the odd function is known as a hyperbolic sine functions. That is, this is an odd and this is an even. So we can write sine h x equal to hyperbolic sine function sine h x equal to e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2. This is an even function. We call it as a hyperbolic cosine function. That is, cos h x equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2. This is an odd function, this is an even function. Odd function is known as a hyperbolic sine function and even function is known as a hyperbolic cosine function. So we can write sin hx equal to e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2 and cos hx equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2. Okay. Then what is the result of tan hx? Tan hx means sin hx by cos hx. So we can write tan hx equal to e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x. Okay. Then what do you mean by cosec hx? Cosec hx means reciprocal of a sin hx. So we can write cosec hx equal to 2 divided by e raised to x minus e raised to minus x. Okay. Then sec hx. Sec hx equal to reciprocal of cosine cosec cosine hyperbolic function. That is 2 divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x. Then cot hx equal to reciprocal of tan hx equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x minus e raised to minus x. Okay. That is e raised to x which can be expressed as the sum of an even and the odd function. Odd function is known as a hyperbolic sine function and even function is known as a hyperbolic cosine function. Then automatically tan hx means sin hx by cos hx. Cosec hx means reciprocal of sin hx. Sec hx means reciprocal of cos hx. And cot hx means reciprocal of tan hx. Okay. Then what is the value of sin h0? The value of sin h0 means e raised 0. 1. e raised to minus 0. That is also 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 0 by 2 equal to 0. That is, we can write the value of sin h0 equal to 0. Then what is the result of cos h0? Cos h0 means e raised 0, 1. e raised to minus 0, that is also 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 by 2 equal to 1. So, we have to remember this point. Sin h0 equal to 0 and cos h0 is equal to 1. Sin h0 equal to 0 and cos h0 equal to 1. Okay. Ready? Then, we can prove some problems based on hyperbolic functions. First, prove that cos h square x, cos h square x minus sin h square x is equal to 1. Prove that 
prove that cos h square x minus sin h square x is equal to 1. Then we know that the value of cos h x equal to e raised x plus e raised to minus x by 2. And similarly, sin h x equal to e raised x minus e raised to minus x by 2. Then cos h square x minus sin h square x equal to e raised x plus e raised to minus x by 2 the whole square minus e raised x minus e raised to minus x by 2 the whole square. Okay. And by a plus b whole square we can expand this term e raised to 2x plus 2 e raised x in the raised to minus x plus e raised to minus 2x divided by 4. Okay. Minus e raised to 2x minus 2 into e raised to x in the raised to minus x plus e raised to minus 2x divided by 4. Okay. Then we can write this is equal to e raised to 2x e raised a raised term in the raised term, a raised term plus n x minus x equal to 0 e raised to 0 equal to 1 therefore we can write 2. This also e raised to minus 2x. Okay. Open this bracket minus e raised to 2x and this also e raised to 0 1 1 into minus 2 minus 2 minus into minus plus 2 and minus e raised to minus 2x all divided by 4 okay we can cancel these two terms e raised to 2x e raised to 2x and also we can cancel these two terms because it is equal and opposite then 2 plus 2 equal to 4 4 by 4 is equal to 1 so we can write the value of cos h square x minus sin h square x is equal to 1 okay cos h square x minus sin h square x is equal to 1 Okay, let us go to the second question. Prove that. Prove that 1 minus tan h square x equal to c h square x. 1 minus tan h square x equal to c h square x. See, take the LHS. LHS is equal to 1 minus tan h square x. Okay. The value of the hyperbolic, the value of tan h x equal to tan x equal to e raised x minus e raised to minus x by e raised x plus e raised to minus x. Put that value here. That is 1 minus tan h square x equal to 1 minus e raised x minus e raised to minus x by e raised x plus e raised to minus x the whole square. Okay. That is equal to 1 minus e raised x minus e raised to minus x the whole square divided by e raised x plus e raised to minus x the whole square. Okay. Take it still here. That is e raised x plus e raised to minus x the whole square minus e raised x minus e raised to minus x the whole square divided by e raised x plus e raised to minus x whole square. Okay. By I will expand this by using algebraic identity. A plus b whole square and a minus b whole square. This is equal to e raised to 2x plus 2 e raised x in the raised to minus x plus e raised to minus 2x and this is equal to minus e raised to 2x and this is equal to plus 2 e raised x in the raised to minus x minus e raised to minus 2x all divided by e raised x plus e raised to minus x all square. Okay. We can cancel these two terms. These two terms cancel and this also we can cancel. Okay. Equal and opposite. This is e raised to zero, 1. This also e raised to zero, 1. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 divided by 4 divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x the whole square. Okay. This also we can write 2 divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x the whole square. Okay. 4 divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x all square means you can write 2 by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x all square. We know the value of cos h x equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2. Then sec h x equal to 2 divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x. That means this is 1 minus tan h square x equal to 2 divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x all square. That means this is equal to sec h x. Sec h x the whole square means we can write this is equal to sec h square x. 
Okay, CKHX now what is that means? CKHX square X. So you can write 1 minus tan H square X equal to CKHX square X. Okay. Any doubt? No. Ready? Okay, please read the next question. Solve the hyperbolic equation. Solve the hyperbolic equation. Cos hx. Cos hx. Minus 5 sin hx. 5 sin hx. Minus 5. Minus 5. Equal to 0. 0. Okay. Solve this hyperbolic function. Solve, solve the hyperbolic equation. Cos hx minus 5 sin hx minus 5 equal to 0. Okay. See, we know that cos hx equal to, we know that cos hx equal to e raised x plus e raised to minus x by 2. Similarly, sin hx equal to e raised x minus e raised to minus x by 2. Cos hx equal to e raised x plus e raised to minus x by 2. And sin hx equal to e raised to x minus e raised to minus 6 by 2. Put that value there. That is cos hx minus 5 sin hx minus 5 equal to e raised equal to 0. Equal to 0. Which implies we can write e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2. Minus 5 into e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2. Minus 5 equal to 0. Take its LCM, that is e raised x plus e raised to minus x minus 5 e raised x plus 5 e raised to minus x minus 10 divided by 2 equal to 0. Okay, that is if e raised to minus x plus 5 e raised to minus x equal to 6 e raised to minus x. And e raised x minus 5 e raised x equal to minus 4 e raised x minus 10 equal to 0. Okay. We can simplify this term by dividing the root one by 2. 3 e raised to minus x minus 2 e raised to x minus 5 equal to 0. Okay. Okay. So that is we can write this is equal to e raised to minus x means 1 by e raised to x for 3 by e raised to x minus 2 e raised to x minus 5 equal to 0. Take its LCM. 3 minus 2 e raised to 2x e raised to x in e raised to x e raised to x minus 5 e raised to x divided by e raised to x equal to 0. Okay. That means then cross multiplying this term. 3 minus 2 e raised to 2x means e raised to x the whole square. Minus 5 e raised to x equal to 0. Take all the stems on right side. That is 2 e raised to x the whole square. Plus 5 e raised to x minus 3 equal to 0. Okay. Then you can simplify this equation by using quadratic formula. Minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4 ac by 2l. This is a quadratic equation in e raised to x. This is a this is a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation in e raised to x. Okay. Then here a is equal to cot e raised to x equal to a equal to coefficient of e raised to x all square 2. B equal to coefficient of e raised to x 5 and c is equal to minus 3. Apply quadratic formula minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2f. That is e raised to x equal to e raised to x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2f. Of that means we can write minus b minus 5 plus or minus root of b square 25 4 ac 8 into 3 24 divided by 2f. 2 into 2 4 equal to minus 5 plus or minus root to 49 7 divided by 4 root to 49 means 7 that is minus 5 plus 7 by 4 or minus 5 minus 7 by 4 
equal to 2 by 4, 1 by 2 or minus 12 by 4, minus 2. Okay. Therefore, the value of a raised x is equal to 1 by 2 or minus 3. Okay. Then we have to solve the value of x. Solve this equation is you have to find out the value of x. Here if e raised x is equal to 1 by 2, if e raised x equal to 1 by 2, then take log on both sides. Log of e raised x equal to x. Then x is equal to log of half. Log of half means log minus 2. Log 1 minus log 2 minus log 2. If e raised x is equal to half, then you can write x is equal to log of half. Similarly, e raised x is equal to minus 3. e raised x equal to minus 3. If e raised x equal to minus 3. If e raised x equal to minus 3. Then x is equal to log of minus 3. Therefore, the values of x is equal to log 1 by 2 or log of minus 3. Okay. Then solve this hyperbolic function, then we get x is equal to log 1 by 2 or x is equal to log of minus 3. Okay. Ready? Any doubt? Yes. Next portion we will continue in next video. Thank you.